Hello friends, this video on soil part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So the next property of soil that we are going to discuss is the moisture in soil. Now before we talk about moisture in soil, what do we mean by moisture? Moisture is nothing but presence of a liquid in small amounts. So here we, the liquid which we are talking about is nothing but water. So moisture is presence of water in trace amounts that is in small amounts so that is that is what we mean by moisture now do you think that soil contains water it's normal soil i mean it is not that we have watered the soil and then i am asking you that soil has water or not normally the soil which we see around us do you think that it contain water Actually speaking, soil contains considerable amount of water. Again, that amount varies from, from one type of soil to another. But yes, soil do contain water. Now, some soil might contain less water. Now, whichever soil will have less moisture, they will be more dry. And the soil which have more moisture, I mean, again, having too much of water in the soil will also make it wet. So wet soil is again not very much desirable for plants. Wet soil is also not very much desirable for the survival of earthworms in the soil because too much of soil, too much of water in the soil that also creates problems. So moist soil is something where small amount of water is present. That is something which is the most desirable for plant growth as well as for the survival of living organisms in the soil. Wet soil or waterlogged soil is again something which should be avoided. So if you talk about uh, the right balance, the correct balance, then uh, any soil should contain 25% water and 25% air. So if a soil contains 25% water and 25% air, then we say that the soil has the right amount of moisture, it has the right amount of air. Because why do we need air in the soil? Aeration is needed because it creates porous spaces between the particles of organic matter and that is also required required right so that that is about the ideal scenario so if you ask about the right exact balance okay so moisture in soil again varies from one type of soil to another so before we talk about the moisture in different types of soil let us do a very simple and small experiment to prove that moisture exists in soil because many of you might say that if I do not put water to the soil for a long time then there will be no moisture in the soil. Now just try this out. Take some amount of soil in a test tube and heat the test tube. After some time what do you observe? You observe presence of tiny water droplets on the walls of the test tube. So from where do you get these tiny water droplets because if soil is not containing any water so from where are these water droplets coming from that's because soil contains water so when you actually heat it those water droplets they start evaporating so they start getting converted into water vapor just try to observe this you take one sample of soil which was not heated and you take another sample of soil which has been heated and you try to observe the difference in their texture. So the second one will be like very dry, you can actually feel it. So when you touch it, it will be like powdery and very dry. Whereas the first one would be like kind of, uh, you know, viscous and you will be able to feel the presence of water in it. So the presence of water droplets on the walls of test tube is a proof that moisture is present in soil. So now if you try to compare the amount of moisture which is present in different types of soil, you see what, what you get to see is, so let, let's write down the names of all the three types of soil that is sandy soil, loamy soil and clayey soil. Right? So moisture, in terms of moisture, sandy soil has the least moisture. Loamy soil has intermediate moisture and clayey soil has the maximum moisture. Now which type of soil has maximum moisture? The soil which is capable of retaining more water, the soil which is capable of holding more water. So if you look at sandy soil, in sandy soil the spaces between the big particles are big, therefore water drains quickly through it. So the soil is not able to hold water whereas clayey soil is able to hold a lot of water, therefore here in this case 
it actually contains a lot of water so it contains a lot of moisture and when you talk about this loamy soil it has the right amount of moisture in it because as I had mentioned before also that if a soil has too much of water that is also not desirable for plants as well as for living organisms. So something which is some, yes, the type of soil which has the correct amount of water is the most desirable one. So the most desirable soil based on their moisture content is the loamy soil. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.